Hello, everyone. Uh, we are taking one more example for the context P uh, language. And uh, we have to prove by the contradiction using the pumping lemma that the language is not context free. So let's say the language given is W, W, where W is the element of 0, 1 stuff. Okay. So now, we have to say that the W is the of 0 or 1 symbols. And if we repeat the same string two times, then it means that this कंटेक्स्ट भी नहीं है ये ऐसा हमें प्रूफ करना है तो इसके लिए हम कंट्राडिक्शन से प्रूफ करेंगे और एक पंपिंग लेंथ अज्यूम कर लेते हैं लेट्स से द पंपिंग लेंथ इज पी एंड हमारी जो स्ट्रिंग हम सेलेक्ट करेंगे उसकी जो लेंथ होनी चाहिए दैट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू पंपिंग लेंथ पी सो लेट्स से जो स्ट्रिंग हम मान रहे हैं मतलब डब्ल्यू हम मान रहे हैं दैट इज 0 पावर पी एंड 1 पावर पी तो इसका जो रिपीट होगा वो क्या होगा दैट विल बी 0 पावर p 1 पावर p एंड अगेन 0 पावर p एंड 1 पावर p सो अगर हमने ये माना है कि जो p की वैल्यू है वो 5 है तो उस केस में जो स्ट्रिंग होगी दैट विल बी 0 पावर 5 1 पावर 5 फिर अगेन 0 पावर 5 1 पावर 5 सो द सेम थिंग इज रिपीटेड ओके अगर हम इसको एक्सपैंड करके लिखें सो दिस मींस दैट वी हैव 5 टाइम्स 0 and then 5 times 1, and then again 5 times 0, and again 5 times 1. So, this is the string. So, if you can see that this string, we have some parts or references, assumptions, ke hai, ki this is the first boundary, this is the second boundary, and this is the third boundary. On this basis, we will make some conditions. Banayenge. Or your cases banayenge, not the conditions will make the cases. So, pehla case aisa maan lete hain ki jo humara v x y ka jo selection hai, wo kisi ek boundary ke andar hi, wo kisi dusri boundary ke, wo dusri boundary ko cross nahi karta, ya pehle ya overlapping nahi hai boundaries. So, pehla case hum aisa hi maante hain, jisme ki wo same boundary is in the same boundary. So, v x y is in the same boundary. Okay. So, string को एक बार फिर से हम लिख लेते हैं 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 5 times 0, and then 5 times 1. And then, हम इसमें 5 parts बनाते हैं, let's say हमने ऐसा माना कि जो v, x, y हमारा है, वो second boundary में कहीं adjust होता है. So, let's say कि ये v है मेरा, और x में दो ones हैं और y में एक one है and this entire part is u and this entire part is z so अब हमने calculate करना है u v raised to the power i x y raised to the power i z ऐसा हमें compute करना है now uh, जो कंप्यूटेशन है उसमें हम i की एक पॉजिटिव वैल्यू अज्यूम कर लेते हैं लेट्स से i की वैल्यू हमने 2 अज्यूम किया सो वी आर एक्चुअली कंप्यूटिंग u v स्क्वायर x y स्क्वायर z तो ये जो स्ट्रिंग होगी वो क्या होगी u का पार्ट ऐसे ही रहेगा v में दो ones हैं जिसको हम रिपीट कर रहे हैं 1 1 1 1 x में दो one है ऐसे लिख दीजिए y में केवल एक one है तो इसको रिपीट करेंगे तो दो ones हो जाएंगे z वाला पार्ट ऐसे ही रहेगा मतलब 5 times 0 एंड 5 times so, this string is going to be 0 raised to the power 5. This part is going to be 8 once. So, we can say 1 raised to the power 8. This part is 5 once, 0 power 5 and 1 power 5. So, 0 power 5, 1 power 8, 0 power 5, 1 power 8, 1 power 5. So, these are the two different things. So, this is what we obtained here. That is not in the part of the language. Hence, we can say that. The language is not context free according to the case one. So we will take more cases, but hold on. Uh, first, let's check the three conditions. conditions satisfy or So the first condition was that the length of v y cumulatively should be greater than zero. So we took the v or y ki jo length li hai, wo v ki two li hai, y ki one li hai, to ye three hai, that is greater than zero. Second condition was that uh, the length of v x y is 
cumulative length of Vxy is less than or equal to P, pumping length P. So we have taken the pumping length phi. So Vxy ki jo length humne uh, li hai, wo bhi phi bhi li hai. So that is that condition is also satisfied. But the third condition that u v raised to the power i, x y raised to the power i z, ye nahi proof ho parat kyunki ye part of language nahi hai. So proof by contradiction hum ye aisa keh sakte hain that the language is not regular. So this is the first case only that we have taken. Let's take more cases. Let's say we are taking the second case, jisme ki v x y first bound first or second boundary ke beech mein. Okay, so first or second boundary ke beech mein hai, matlab overlapping hai. V x y jo hai overlapping hai, do boundary mein matlab ki first and second boundary. So, if we have a string, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, what do we do? We have 5 parts. And we have to say that 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 we have to and then जो zero one है, let's say वो x है और y हमारा single bound. So इस तरह से v x y जो हो गया हमारा दो boundaries बन गए. This part is u and whatever part we have not selected is z. So now let's compute. Let's say u v q y Right. x, y, q, and z. u, v, q, x, y, q, z. So let's compute this. So u is two zeros. And then v is two zeros. If we take the cube of this, so six times zeros will come. And after this, we have a x, which is zero, one. And then we have a y. And uh, y is single one. So if we take a cube of this, so this will be three ones. And then the rest of the part is that it means 1, 2, 3, 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, zeros, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ones. So this is like counting karegaram, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 0, 9, and then the 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 7, and then 0, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, power 7, and then 0, power 5, and 1, power 5. So you can see that. This is not of the form WW. So hence, you can say that the language is not regular according to the case two. So, you know, conditions take little thing. The length of VY hai, that is greater than zero, obviously. Second case is that uh, the cumulative length of VXY is less than or equal to the pumping length P. Yes, it is also true. We have taken a five length. And then the third condition is that the language u v raised to the power i x y raised to the power i z should be the part of language l but in this case it is not the case so we can say that by proof of contradiction uh, this is the proof by contradiction that the given language is not context -free. but hold on we will take more conditions uh, for this because we have taken two different conditions up to now or abhi tak ki conditions humne li hai usme ये लिया है कि v x y same boundary में हो या v x y first और second boundary के बीच में है इस तरह से हम मान सकते हैं कि जो v x y है वो second and third boundary के बीच में हो सकता है तो third case ऐसा ही मान लेते हैं so case three हम मानते हैं कि वो let's make a space for this so case three हम ये मानते हैं कि v x y जो है वो second और third boundary में overlap कर रहा है so this is the case three that v x y is overlapping in second and third boundary. So let's first write this string and then again write this string w. Okay, so second boundary means this one is the second boundary and second and Third boundary के बीच में अगर हमने string को select की है, 
So let's say the V is a single this and uh, X is a single one and this is Y let's say. Okay, or another thing that you can do. Let's say uh, y is this one, and uh, this is x, and this is v. So this is straddling with the second and the third boundary. Rest of the part will be same. So this is u, and this part will be z. So let's compute u v square x y square z. So if you compute this. So u is five zeros and then a one, then v is single one. If you take the square of this, you will get two ones. And then x is two ones. And then y is one zero. So this is one zero and again one zero. Okay. And then the part of the z will remain same. Okay. Now if you see that. We were expecting that we have zeros and then ones and then according to the strings nature, zeros and the ones, same number of zeros, same number of ones. And then after this, same number of zero and same number of ones. And the first part is repeated in the second part. So, but this is not the case here. One ke zero aata hai, fir one ke zero ek single aata hai. And the first part that is not equal to the second part. You can simply say that this is not following all the properties and uv raised to the power 2, xy raised to the power 2z is not the part of the language L. And now let's see about the other properties. The cumulative length of vy is certainly greater than 0. The length of vxy cumulatively is less than or equal to p, where we have taken 5. And then uv raised to the power i x, y raised to the power i, z is not a part of the language. Although the first and the second conditions are satisfied, but the third condition is not satisfied. So, in this case, we can say that our language is not context-free. In fourth case, we can say that we have our vx, y part of the third and fourth boundary to overlap. So, this is the string so this is our third boundary okay so third ye wala hai to third ke pehle aur third ke baad yahi hamare hum manenge ki isi wale part mein humne overlap karana hai v x and y ko so let's say we have selected this zero one as y and uh, let's say the two zeros are x and a single zero is v. This is the previous part, this is the u and this is the last part, this is the z. Part. So let's say we are computing u, v, q, x, y, q, z. So what will this be? The u remains same. Five zeros, five ones, and a single zero. V is single zero, so Q will be three zeros. Aenge. Then iske baad X is two zeros, it will be the same. Then iske baad Y is zero, which we will repeat three times. And then Z is four zeros, which will be the same. So you can see that it's zero power five, one power five. Hai. Then iske baad zeros are seven. And then उसके बाद ये वाला part मतलब कि ऐसा है कि ये पहला वाला part दूसरे part में repeat नहीं हो रहा है तो निश्चित रूप से आप ये कह सकते हैं कि ये जो u v q x y q and z आपने select किया था that is not a part of language L. Let's see about the other conditions. The condition one is that the cumulative length of v y is greater than zero. Obviously this is and the length of v x y should be less than or equal to pumping length p. Here we have selected pi, so this condition is also satisfied. The only condition which is not got satisfied is uv raised to the power i, xy raised to the power i z 
is not the part of the language L. So hence we have proved by the contradiction that the given language means language WW is not context free. Okay, so I hope you have understood and you can take more examples from your side for uh, making a better understanding of uh, the pumping lemma for the context free languages. Thanks for watching this.